This video is only one part of an in-depth review, so check out the rest at thegoodride.com. Thanks for watching. I'm James Beastie. Welcome to The Good Ride, where we've been sucking less every year for many a year now. And this is the Rozzy XV. I compared this against two other favorites, the Libtech BRD and the Yes Pick Your Line. Rode this with Burton Ions, Burton Kendos, and Union Atlases, and got this in mainly good snow, and then also some harder snow. But to give you a short summary, this XV has been a board that we've been recommending year over year for many a years. It's a long-standing favorite for a very good reason. It grips like a champ in hard snow, and it is great for those guys who see a lot of hard to icy snow, but want a directional tapered ride that really bombs and shines going big but also floats really well in powder with only a little bit of grab from those hard edges. But it's a great compromise for those who want to be ready for ice and also be ready for powder. When it comes to sizing, this is a unique board. Don't let the large size intimidate you. This 163 feels just like these two 159s next to me, the Yes Pick Your Line and the Libtech BRD. It doesn't have as much board on snow as you would think for its size. Even the 167 felt good for me. I just kind of go with the 163 because the 167 is kind of big. It's kind of hard to put in bags. So I kind of like the 163 but I also really love that 167. I've never tried the 59, but I have this feeling it would feel more like a yes, pick your line 156, a little too small. Same with the BRD 156, a little too small. I think that 163 is just right, but if you have the board bag and you wanna size up, go 167. All two sizes that I tried fit my size nine boots really well. I, I'd say keep it under 10, 10 and under, but for the regulars, go 11s, 11 to 12 with the wides. Don't go much past that. Now, when it comes to shape, you've got a pretty tapered directional shape here. Not super tapered, but pretty directional as you can see. And then it has a pretty good camber profile underfoot that extends well past the bindings. It feels pretty locked in, but not totally unforgiving. It's still very doable when it comes to skidding your turns. I feel like this was right there with the bird and the pick your line, maybe a touch more locked in, but still in that realm where if you get off your game, you can skid out a turn and feel good. All three of these boards have a similar camber profile that feels really good underfoot in all conditions. It's very consistent ride. You always know what kind of board you have, whether it's ice, kind of middle ground snow or powder. It's always kind of acting almost the same way. And I like that. Now, when it comes to flex, this is kind of an interesting flex. Between the feet here, it is stiff as f Then you get up in the nose, it's pretty stiff but you flip it around and the tail has a little more give than the nose and the waist. Compare that to the bird. You can see there's a lot more give, really stiff between the feet, but the nose is a little softer and the tail is a little softer too, but it's pretty stiff. Compare that to the pick your line, kind of the same, really stiff in the waist here. Little softer in the nose, but stiffer than the BRD and about the same in the tail. What's really cool though, is I could butter this pretty well. It's mid season and I'm in decent shape, but I've been on this board year over year and buttering off the tail is pretty easy. It's not bad for a tripod either. Now, in terms of pop, all three of these boards have pretty good pop. I think I like the pop the best in the bird and the pick your line is almost right there with it. They're, they have a little more energy than the XV, but it's really close. When it comes to speed, all three of these boards are pretty fast, uh, but the XV kind of wins here. It just feels really damp and fast. I like the base a little better on the pick your line, 
but the XV and the BRD are pretty close in terms of base glide. If you wanna go fast and you want the best base glide, you wanna go Jones Flagship, which I don't have here with me right now, but that's a really good ride for going fast and having a fast base. Now, when it comes to uneven terrain, this can just power through Chunder at high speeds really well. But what really surprised me is how agile it is weaving in and out of bumps. I thought that was really cool too. I think it does a really good job there. Great all condition ride and all day ride on the resorts. If you wanna hammer it from the morning to the evening, you can do it with this and it's not incredibly fatiguing for how stiff it is. You can also see some light frame technology throughout this board and it dampens up the ride and makes it incredibly fun to straight line. If you're one of those straight liners like Peter is, then you might really like this and the flagship a lot. I would get this though, if you see a lot of hard snow, which is what we're talking about now, edge hold, this just jams in hard snow. The disrupted side cut here, it's very pronounced and it's very grippy to the point where it grabs a little bit in soft snow, but it is just such a confidence inspiring ride in hard snow. It's one of the first boards I would choose if I'm in a directional car V mood when it's a hard day out there. This is a great board for that. Now the BRD is pretty close and the pick your line is pretty close too, but they're a little better in softer snow and this is a little better in harder snow. That's what makes this a hard snow favorite. It's just such a highly recommendable traditional free ride, hard snow ride. Now, when it comes to turn initiation, this is much faster in a 163 than you would think edge to edge. It's really quick edge to edge without being twitchy or hooky. It feels really fun wanting to turn. And while this loves a straight line and long drawn out S turns, this can also do a really good circle carve. It's right there with the 59 BRD and pick your line, maybe even a touch better. I don't know what they're doing with the side cut, but it was a really satisfying turning experience. It just felt like it was springing out of the turns really well, better than the past models I tried. Maybe it was just a good day, but, or good days, but I just really liked the way this turned. The BRD and pick your line are no slouch either. The BRD has a touch more camber than both, but they're all really close in terms of early rise. And it's funny, this just didn't feel like it was a lot of camber, but when I got it on snow, it felt like there was more camber, more spring, more drive out of the turn, and I really liked it. The pick your line is close to these two, but just maybe a shade behind. Now, when it comes to powder, uh, all three of these have great directional float. And while the 163 doesn't feel like a lot of board on groomers for its size, it does really well in powder. You get a lot of directional float with this early rise in the nose, a bigger nose, a much smaller tail, good setback on board. I just feel like all three of these boards really shine. I think the pick your line is the most between the feet, more of a, a little bit smaller big mountain board, but this is still a really amazing big mountain board. But what I also like is it really shines in low angle powder, like getting on a 163 or a 167 on a deep day at Mount Bachelor without a lot of steep terrain, this thing can jam and it really floats well. It, it, it's just a good board for powder. If, you, if I had this and either the Juggernaut or Jibsaw, I'd have a pretty complete life from mountain freestyle riding to directional powder riding and, and a little bit of everything in between. So overall, there isn't one that's better than the other in terms of just overall board feel. It just depends on where you ride, how you ride, and what you want. If you want the fastest base and an epic straight liner, you want the Jones flagship. If you want something that is really turny and fun, kind of very well-rounded, all-around free ride board, you want the pick your line. If you like the idea of the pick your line, but just want something that sets back a little bit further, you have the bird. But if you ride hard snow 
and you want a bigger, more directional, more powerful board with amazing grip that still floats really well in powder, you've got the XV. All our reviews are a best effort, objective opinion from an average rider's perspective. There's no brand oversight, and we're free to say whatever we want. We send back everything unless it's a favorite, then we ask to keep those or straight up buy them. Now, if you need advice, fill out the MeHarmony profile in the contact us section of the site. It's the only way I can help you properly. If you want to support us, and if what we reviewed appeals to you, it helps if you buy through our links. So, thanks for watching. Compare that to the bird. Ah! Shit.